Today is World Spay Day. It's about awareness for getting your pets fixed. So, what are the benefits to doing that? Local News 8's Misty Inglis spoke with a local vet to find out, and she joins us now from the Pocatello Animal Shelter. Misty? Thanks, Carol. So shelters like these have so many pets that they just can't care for them all. They say that by spaying and neutering your pets, you can help lower the numbers of animals who don't find a home. According to the Humane Society, between 6 and 8 million animals enter shelters every year. Barely half are adopted. The rest are euthanized. This is because shelters can't care for them all. And it's a problem locally, too. We have so many unwanted pets in our area, and the shelter, they do everything they can to get those animals homes, but there just aren't enough homes, and so spay and neuter is the number one way we can reduce the unwanted pet population. But there are other benefits from spaying and neutering your pet. So Behavior-wise, they just really are no longer interested in running off and finding uh, uh, other animals. The reproductive behaviors as far as marking territory are reduced, uh, as well as decreased chance of mammary tumors, as well as reproductive diseases as they age. It can prevent reproductive cancers, as well as other forms like uterine and prostate. But Vets say that the sooner you get your animals spayed and neutered, the better off they are. Like Sylvia here, who's only five months. They recover quicker. Um, the, the reproductive organs are not as developed, and so we see less complications. On average, pets that are spayed and neutered tend to live longer than those that aren't. It can also save a lot of money in medical expenses for your pet down the road. Something interesting I learned here today is that the state of Connecticut actually has a statewide program for spaying and neutering their pets. And as a result, they're the only state whose shelters don't have an overcrowding problem. They actually have to bring in animals to their shelters. The Pocatello shelter here said that they're hoping Idaho will eventually find a similar program that will work for our state. Reporting live in Pocatello, I'm Misty Inglet. Wow, Misty, I've never heard that before. Thanks for sharing that. Uh, for more information on how to get your pet spayed and neutered, you can contact your local vet or animal clinic.